If you use the Create React app, Jest is already configured for your React environment. So let's create a new Create React app project. And also the Create React app already comes with a simple task, so let's run it. If you are using Bubble, you must use those configs, you must install the Bubble Jest. About the snapshot testing, we already covered this on the snapshot testing guide, so go to this video if you want to recapture it. So here it's showing how to work around this problem, this warning. And before we get to this warning, let me skip this part. I'll, I'll be back after I finish the enzyme setup. So let's first start with the dump testing. And it shows how, here it's showing how to use the React testing library. So I'll install it. Actually, let me remove those create React app files. Okay, and it passes. So basically, we are importing the render, fire event, and cleanup from the testing library React. It, after each of the tests, calls the cleanup function that amounts and clean up the DOM after each test. We are rendering the checkbox with label. We are querying by the label text that should be off. So it must exist and should be off. And here we are firing the event click on the label. And after we click on the label, we expect the label to be on. Enzyme is my preferred choice. That's why after we complete all the Jest documentation, I'll go to the Enzyme documentation and we'll cover, we'll cover all of this because I think the syntax is simpler than the testing React app and also it's simpler than the test you choose of the React. Enzyme expects that we use an adapter. In our case, we will use the adapter for React 16, not the 15.
and we also must tell Enzyme to use this adapter so I'll copy this line Okay, it works. And actually, this configuration usually we don't have on it on each test. Uh, for the te for the Create React app, if we specify a setup tests, okay, setup tests.js. Okay, if we specify a setup test, it will run this file to set up the test. So, in our case, we will move this enzyme. Okay, it works. Not sure why it's taking so long. Oh, let's go back and simulate this warning. So, th this warning appears when we are mocking some. React component. In our case, I'll mock the check box with labels. So let me copy the syntax. Okay, it is failing actually on the expectation because we're mocking those expectations won't won't pass. So I'll just comment. Okay, actually no warning here. So let's try to wrap this into a div. And it's still not showing the warning, so I'll, I'll replace the shallow for mount because the shallow only renders the top element. In our case, we only renders the div, and it won't render all the elements of the child. So I'll change it to mount. Mount will render everything. And perfect, it shows the warning that the documentation was talking about. And the first workaround is to render another function. So here we are, we are returning just one function. So one function that returns another. And okay, it works, no warnings. Also, you can render a custom element, so this mock widget will be treated as a DOM custom element.
and you can also actually pass anything here so it will also work okay actually sorry it must have a dash in the middle and it works and here is just suggesting to use react test render to and also to disable this warning but I won't, I won't do those examples I'll, I'll just continue and if you're using bubble you can also use some custom transformers